evening. I welcome you Kenyans. And uh, my name is Ajonte. I'm Azimio Miyakayote, the follower number one of Raila Amolo Dinga. And the only Azimio die hard in Kidurai in the midst of the UDA members or UDA fraternity. So I want to speak this evening as a very sad person. I do listen nowadays to the leaders of this nation. I ask myself, where is the Kabando or Kabando of those times? Where is of those Professor Anyang Nyongo of those times of that parliament, that, those times? Where is Bon Radware of those times that used to say, if Kenya to have peace, Kimunya must go. I want to tell Bona Halware, for Kenya to have peace, Ruto must fall. For Kenya to go to school, Ruto must fall. For a mother Mamamboka to have profit of his products, Kashagwa and Ruto must fall. For a young person like me to get a job, these people must fall. Because I remember the other day, Kashagwa, you stood in front of the people who are students who are graduating for the, the, a particular day. Then they have gone to a system of education, of a university education for four good years. Sacrificing their resources, sacrificing their time, sacrificing everything and every coin they had just to make sure that they go to school to earn a living. The parents who are taking those students to school, they were doing what we call investment in those children. Their parents who sold their land, their parents who sold their cows, their parents even who sold their cars, they denied themselves luxury to, so that their children may get something. But the only thing this government is assuring us is that, that the government doesn't have an opportunity for uh, that particular student. If I, I call you Ruto, William Samuel Ruto, you are a destiny killer. Will I be wrong? If I call you, call you Kashagwa, that you are a destiny killer, will I be wrong? The other day I saw you in Nyeri. Then you stood in front of a king, in front of a president, and tell the president when you are in the capital city of Mount Kenya, that is near it. You tell William Samuel Ruto, the president of the, the Republic of Kenya, you tell him that the only thing Kikuyu needs is Michele Nanyama. And you have turned the Kikuyus to be Michele Nanyama people. Kashagwa, you call your wife a pastor. Did your, past, did your wife pray for you? Did he seek divine revelation for what you spoke the other day? The only agenda, Kashagwa, you have is Raila. The, only, the second agenda you have is Luos. The third agenda you have is Mawe. The fourth agenda you have, Kwamba Sisi, Hatutaki, Mandamano. Sisi, Hatutaki, Mkate Nusu. And the fifth agenda you have, Kashagwa, is your child stealing from another youth? Is your child stealing? Nets. Mosquito nets. Because the first day you entered into the government, you were seeking freedom on how you can be liberated from your 200 million that were frozen out of your theft. Kashagwa. If I may ask you humbly, do you love Kenya? Do you love Kenya? Come out and tell us, do you love Kenya? To my word, to my thinking, you don't love Kenya. What you love is power. And I want to tell you, William Samoy Ruto, do you remember the times you were walking with the Bible? Do you remember the times you used to sell chicken? Have you come to realize the problems that you are being, you are facing, you are facing 
those times being beaten by rain sometimes you go you don't sell do you remember those days do you remember the days you had to have a connection by Jirongo and Juma to connect you to Daniel Moy do you remember those days do you remember the days Uhuru Karia did you saved you from ICC do you remember those days do you remember the days Raila stand for you with you behind you do you remember those days do you remember the days you used to fight for Raila do you remember have you had those days changed okay they say that the forest is the same but the monkeys have changed I think the monkey that is in your head has changed. You don't have you don't think as William Samuel. Ruto. You are being advised by the wrong people. You are being advised by crooked kind of mind. You talk about hustle of art. Have you asked people, do men take those money? Do men tell take those money? We are here to entertain each other. Five years is long enough. William Samuel, let me ask you the humble, in a very humble way. I saw you in Kedurai. You entered into Kedurai. Did you launch any market? The, any, the market you launched, was it built by you? Was it built by you? After the commissioning of that market, I was there. The the starting of the construction of that market i was there were you there and if it is all there don't stop criticizing huru bigai kenyatta under the failures if the achievement of the market of gidurai was your achievement with the huru bigai kenyatta that means the failure of huru bigai kenyatta are also your failures when you say that this government has frustrated you frustrated Kenyans that means that you also you carry that button the only thing William Samoto you do now is to buy people why should you buy people why should you buy people if you are a, a good leader why should you entice MPs you are if you have a vision why should you entice judiciary if you have a vision you have a clear vision, you have a clear mission. Lay the vision and the mission to the people. Let then the people decide. P let me tell you one thing. People may fail to understand the process that you are taking us into. But people as the, like me, I'm waiting for the fruits. If I see the fruits, I will believe you. I may not accept the process in which you are handling things. But if I see the fruits of the process, I will accept the process. If the process fails, I will not wait to see the fruits. You are politicking. Every time you are staging yourself to 2027, instead of doing what people elected you to do, you are doing mockery of a wheelbarrow. You are doing mockery to Mamamboga. Why would you not stop this? Stop this in Anigan. And I want to take talk to the MPs in UDA. In the in the names of like Cheregai, Senator of Nant. I want to you Cheregai. Samson Cheregai. You have studied law. And let me tell you, a degree, going to school is not a degree to mediocrity. Now that you went to school, it doesn't mean you can only you can speak anything and we shall clap for you. We won't clap for you. If you say wrong, we shall say it's wrong. Have you ever asked yourself, Samson Cheregei, how much or which kind of congregation do you carry? Which kind of follow-up do you carry? If you open your mouth, can I, your child look at that thing you have said and say, my father has spoken? Can your wife say, my husband has spoken? Can Ruto, your leader, say, that is Cheregai, my son, spoken? 
speaking and sits upright to listen what you are saying can an international person who has an interest in Kenya can it have any sense to that person can it encourage a person who is lucky who has lacks food who lacks education who lacks shelter can it encourage a person from Garissa Waji Mandera Turkana Baringo that person who is struggling you are busy attacking Raila who is living in Karen instead of solving problems concerning people from Anti instead of telling Mandago your fellow senator that what you did the other day conning poor parents in a lorry was wrong instead of telling them that my fellow Mandako, you come from UDA. UDA, we don't th steal from people. What you did is to steal from the other people. I want to warn you. You can steal many people. You can cheat many people, but you won't cheat them forever. Achunga sana, mjinga kirefuka. This evening, I welcome you Kenyans. And uh, my name is Ajonte. I'm Azimio Miyakayote.